what's up, everyone? Now we're starting to get it, girl, with girl talk. And girl talk about mystery, that wonderful mystique mm. that draws us mortals all around to each other. The question is, do you think that it's important to keep mystery in your personal life and relationships? Definitely. Absolutely. <laughs> There's difference between keeping mystery and keeping things from but your partner. See, that's my point. I'm with mm -hmm. you on that. Right? Because yeah. mystery, it's about, you know, making yourself like the eternal, um, what's the name of that actress who looks a little like a goldfish who was in her? <laughs> oh, her voice is in her. <laughs> Scarlett Johansson. Scarlett Johansson. She's always mysterious. Have you noticed? Like, there's something about her <laughs> that when she carries herself, she always has this like <gasps> well, mystery. Well, I think that this idea of mystery, like you said, if it's, if it's a manipulated mystery, mm -hmm. if it's something that I'm purposefully trying to hide from you so you think that I'm cooler mm -hmm. than I really am, that, that ain't mystery, bro. No, that's no. lying. It yeah. is lying to yourself. Yeah, exactly. But if, if you are really focused on you, mm -hmm. yeah, if you're working really hard, you're getting up in the morning, and instead of like checking your phone and like texting your friends and seeing what they're doing, you're going to a job or you're going to run or you're doing something, then it's it's gonna be innate that you're mysterious because you're so busy doing your own thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know? You know yeah. It's, it's funny, at least uh, for me, you know, I mean, it's, it's kind of oxymoronic, but you know I'm like a social media person, I have a ton of social media followers and all that stuff, but I am incredibly private. Only maybe 10% of my day goes on social media, and 90% uh. of what I do, you don't see it, because it just, I like to keep things to myself, there's a lot, and in relationships as well, I don't make myself available. A lot of the times, only if, even if I'm just sitting on my couch, just chilling, watching TV, <laughs> if you text me, like, hey, baby, are you free? I'm like, no, I'm not. Because I feel that when you're extra available, it just, I don't know, I just like, again, keeping things to myself. I yeah. like to just say, like, hey, I'm not always going to be around for you, boy. Mm -hmm. And I think that's part of what it's kind of alluring, because they're like, yes. what is she doing? Well, she won't tell me. What is she uh -huh. doing? I want to know, and I won't tell you. Sorry. See, but I'm always yeah. scared that that is what's going to get them into me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, there's, there's, there's an allure of mystery whenever you first start dating somebody. Mm -hmm. That if you're around all the time or you let them know what you're doing all the time, you're like, hey, 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 every morning. Yeah. They're like, okay. Yeah, yeah. but it's right. hard, though. Yeah. Because it's easy to keep the mystery in the beginning. Yeah. But then later on, it's hard to, like, maintain that mystery. Yeah. It's almost like you have to become a character, you know? <laughs> yes. <laughs> but it's yes. Funny, not necessarily so. And, I mean, I've, I've had maybe one or two relationships that were legit in my life. And Eve, I used to tell them, like, I need Anna time. I need me time. And I'm not telling you what I'm doing. I just need these two hours of the day that I'm going to do what I got to do. And it's Anna time. And you got to trust me that everything's going to be okay. But it's not that you're necessarily hiding it from them. No, it's no. Just that you need it for yourself yeah. but is it strategic like yesterday i already went out today i'm going to stay here and you no, know it's when not going to be when it's to... when i feel like it ah, okay so it's, there's no yeah. strategy behind no, yeah. it like you're trying to be mysterious no not at all it's like if i feel like today i need my time to myself uh -huh. i need to to be alone it's gonna happen and you have to respect that just like if he were to ask tell me i need some you know a couple of hours to myself go i don't want to see you anyway go uh -huh. have fun i think because that that's a balance i don't i don't believe in giving yourself entirely to a person you got to keep some parts of yourself to yourself yeah. i just think that's an inev it's inevitable mm. i mean you're a human being I that agree. isn't living in my body yeah so at the end of the day no matter even if I lived with you every day, mm -hmm. there'd be something about you that is a mystery to me, no yeah. matter what, mm -hmm. S somehow. Especially if you're focused on you all the time, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Like, it's just, I it's mean, I think it definitely has to be, but anytime it's manipulated, it's ruined. Yeah. yeah. One day I was talking to a friend um, and she was like, oh, I really like the Kardashians because they always seem so mysterious. That's fabricated. Because they're never, you know, they never like really laugh at something. They never show a lot of emotion. No. So you're thinking like, Whoa. what is she thinking? That's not mysterious. That's, not mysterious. that's just because they, you know, they don't want wrinkles. Yeah, that's yeah. fake. That's yeah, fake. <laughs> they that's don't want to show expression. Yeah. And that's for the reality TV show. That's not genuine. And yeah. I think when I mean? people like mystery, they like mystery not from some model or some um, robot that is always mysterious because they don't give you anything at all. I think you like mystery from the thing that you you thought you knew yeah mm -hmm. and desire comes from silence yeah. yeah so like if you keep that silence you keep that person on their toes you know what is she doing yeah. what is she thinking how does she feel yeah you know yeah. like one of our camera operators said gotta keep them guessing yeah <laughs> right you know that's one of my as long as it's 
it's not manipulated. Yeah. As yeah. long as it's not manipulated. My ex-boyfriend said to me the thing he liked about me the most was that I always kept him on his toes. See, yeah. I always kept him on his toes. And I was yeah, like, I'm, I'm not even trying, though. I but that's mine, too. But it depends so what kind of unpredictable. Like, one day you're nice, and the other day you're like, ah! Yeah, no, that's yeah, no. <laughs> no, Manic, that's so unpredictable. <laughs> <laughs> you're manic Mystery at that point. Mystery manic, whatever. <laughs>